What's going on folks? Earthmaster here on this Wednesday night, September 2nd, 2020 is the date today, about 7.56 p.m. West Coast time out here in California. Things kind of picking up a little bit on the earthquake 3D globe there. It just had a 5.0 earthquake. Over here, uh, just west of Fiji Islands area, pretty shallow right there, that green flag indicating that uh, 5.0 earthquake at 10 kilometers below surface. Uh, some other activity within the vicinity over the last 24 hours or so. Some also, also some deep movement uh, just south of the Fiji Islands area. That's going to be this, uh, let's see where to go, 5 point, yeah, 4.3 magnitude quake there at about 500. And uh, yeah, 505 kilometers below surface there. You can see that on the upper right hand corner there of the screen showing the depth of that 4.3, 505 kilometers. Pretty deep movement there but of course this area very prone to deep earthquakes also up here on the western part of the pacific ring of fire some more deep movement but this here about ready to drop off that uh, 24 hour threshold there that 4.7 at 555 kilometers below the surface and uh, of course that area that region there pretty common to see some deep earthquakes out there as well so things picking up kind of above the or at least the average state here uh, within the vicinity of Fiji and also towards the Indonesia Islands area things starting to look normal I guess if you will as far as earthquake activity uh, west coast we'll get to here in a little bit I kind of want to cover what's going on here in South America things have not completely quieted down uh, they did just have a uh, was a 4.5 uh, quake there in the South America region near Argentina just east of all this activity that's occurring there uh, in the subduction zone there of the Peru Chile trench region um, there's definitely been quite a bit of earthquake activity over the last couple days or so following that 6.8 magnitude quake that struck there I'll swing over here to a different map so we can see what exactly I'm talking about here and this here is a USGS map here from uh, what do we got here I believe this is the last seven days yeah last seven days uh 2.5 and above here so i can kind of show you guys all the activity that's taking place here here's where the 6.8 struck there we can bring this down here and bring up that 6.8 there in the blue circle that was followed up by some pretty good size aftershocks if you will 6.3 and uh, numerous fives and fours in the mix as well uh, the largest aftershock was a 6.5 that struck within the vicinity as well. Uh, some short time, a short time later, things kind of quieting down a little bit today until this 4.5 hit um, in the Argentina region, southeast of the earthquake activity that we are discussing. Uh, this earthquake, deep, 121 kilometers below the surface. There, that tells me right there that there's still some movement going on still some subduction going on here in this area uh, of course very large earthquakes are possible in this area so i don't think we're quite done with the uh the region yet as far as earthquake activity goes of course the 9.4 9.6 magnitude quake back in 1960 the largest ever earthquake recorded uh, at least in human history or at least in our history i should say um was within this vicinity or just south of the area that we're looking at right now but still this whole area is a subduction zone there's a pretty cool graph here from the wikipedia articles here when you look at the nazca plate uh, areas here this is pretty basic and pretty self-explanatory if you look at the arrows and whatnot you got south america over here the area that we're looking at is uh what do we got just below that dip right there so basically right around here the puna sierras uh, what is that? I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce those last two words right there. Uh, but still, you got the Nazca plate subducting here, moving um, in the general direction towards the northeast, I guess, if you will, east northeast, and uh, some other plate sections here. Uh, you can see these arrows pointing in that general direction. So all this area right here, very capable of building up uh, pressure very quickly over time. It doesn't take necessarily. Um, hundreds and hundreds of years you know like say the Cascadia subduction zone area even though that's uh, that's another definitely another story there um, so this region the subduction area along that cold front looks like right you get that weather system there but that's that's a subduction area 
Um, that kind of looks like a cold front for sure. That's the area that we're looking at. Um, and it's, uh, I don't think we're completely done yet with uh, activity there. But you just never know. I mean, things are just kind of really weird at the moment when it comes to earthquake activity all over the globe. Uh, we had that quiet period for a couple days and that's uh, definitely been halted. Um, and we're kind of seeing some activity up here towards the north here today. This is just activity near Costa Rica region. Um, Panama, just south of Panama region. No, no big quakes, but definitely an increase, obvious increase in earthquake activity here within this region. You can see a couple moderate sized quakes there spread out um, for this area. I'm still kind of expecting some activity up here on the west coast. We haven't really seen it. Um, you know, I don't, who knows? I think it's so locked and loaded that uh, when it does blow, it's going to be uh, absolute craziness. Unless they somehow manage to fuse the plates together, now uh, there's going to be a different region of pressure release, but I doubt if, if we're to that point. Um, earthquake activity right now still on the ramp up up here in Nevada. Ridgecrest region, or what's that, Coso, Coso Junction? Kind of just north of Ridgecrest, right? Yeah, north of Ridgecrest there. Um, Cena 3.5. We need to bring back the all magnitudes to see the uh, activity there in the Ridgecrest region. region. You can see that uh, little cluster there. Still, this is ongoing, folks, following last year's earthquakes in July. And this could continue for months, if not years, um, of aftershock activity within that region there. Uh, Nevada still kind of just doing its thing. Of course, they had a, I uh, can't remember the exact magnitude uh, when they had that kind of large rupture in this area quite a few months ago now, earlier this year, I should say. Um, but this is still aftershock activity, and you can still see the obvious fracture or the rupture there in the Earth's surface there with that linear type aftershock movement. Over here towards the west, uh, not even really nothing worth mentioning. A little bit of activity near the geysers. Small little quake there. Near Willa to 1.7, but activity in that area seems to be dying down um, for now. Idaho, well, this is kind of, what do we got there? Most recent quake on the globe there. I want to make sure I turn my sound off for the uh, Earthquake 3D program. Uh, 2.9 there. 35 kilometers northwest of Stanley, Idaho. Of course, these guys had fairly good sized earthquake quite a few months ago as well. And I believe this, they their earthquake was after the Nevada earthquake, I believe. And then Salt Lake City, remember, had that earthquake as well. It's just been kind of strange year for earthquake activity. But this is all pretty much aftershock. Um, activity in Idaho and also Nevada. I'm really surprised that we haven't seen uh, more aftershock activity in Salt Lake City. I believe it was just south of Salt Lake City when they seen that uh, um, when they seen that earthquake activity there earlier this year. I don't even think we can go back that far. At least I don't want to go back too far in the catalog. But uh, Yellowstone, not a whole bunch of activity going on. Looks like some blasting going on. Quarry blast up there in Montana. Beautiful state, no doubt. Some microquakes. Yellowstone looking pretty minimal uh, when it comes to activity at the moment, I believe. Let's see here. What do we got showing up there? That looks like a little small quake. Uh, where'd it go? I don't think that's even worth mentioning there. Kind of showed up a little bit on some of the graphs, but uh, let's see what's going over here near Denny Creek. I don't believe that's swarming. I believe that's some type of interference there in that activity. Uh, Trimber map, map definitely picking up activity today. This is just uh, today, right? September 2nd. A pretty large increase in activity up here right smack underneath the Vancouver Island region of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, pretty good sized cluster. And once again, that is just today. So some increased and new movement, new trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone, also into Southern Washington and Central Oregon. 
and it looks like very close to the border of Oregon and Northern California showing some further tremor movement, subduction movement uh, along that area. So interesting activity is definitely picking up a little bit here uh, in the north there. Areas like this that I watch for can turn into some super large clusters. And so far it's kind of looking like that may be a possibility in this area. Uh, and if we see it just, just in one area, we'll kind of look at uh, the potential for some surface quaking going on here. This is way deep, way deep down in the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Not necessarily earthquakes, but trimmer, you know, kind of like a slow slip. Like if you just take your hands and barely slowly rub them together or whatever. It's just, it's not a jolt, it's not an earthquake release, but trimmer. Uh, you know, just kind of slippage. Some slow motion, if you will, between the... Uh, Cascadia subduction area right there so but um what do we got here the I think I covered the Nazca plate it's a very interesting uh article there on Wikipedia and it talks about uh well it talks about the uh how old it is and the rock structure and and uh a lot of stuff in there that I really don't want to go into but if you got time it's well worth the read there <clears throat> talks about uh Oh, what do we got here? Some fracture zones and whatnot. The general plate motion. And of course the, uh, the region there. Very capable of producing a large quake. Of course, this is where the largest earthquake ever recorded was, uh, was taking place here. So, as I mentioned, a lot of buildup out here. A lot of uh, stress built up. <coughs> And uh, it's just getting started, folks. I think that's it. We are kind of watching the Earthquake Live 3D stream uh, for some strange activity. And strange activity, I mean, by the stream just automatically stopping uh, and ending itself. Uh, give a big thanks to uh, was it D17 Storm Chaser and a couple other folks there letting me know that the stream had ended and I was next to my computer I could see what happened or at least I got a glimpse of what happened there I believe it's the uh, weather app that I was using on the uh, for the Yellowstone National Park region not 100% sure but it did some weird stuff it disappeared from my screen and uh, so we're kind of kind of took that down for now because um, it resets whatever's going on is it resets my stream it stops it actually it completely stops it and YouTube um, acknowledges that stop which is really weird because if I were to stop the streaming right now on my button basically what would happen is it would leave the live stream going but it would be completely paused on your side or buffering tremendously but uh, I I just I haven't put my finger on it 100%. So that's kind of why I moved to a backup server on YouTube and also got rid of the weather app for the uh, Yellowstone National Park. Um, and we'll see how this does over the next couple days. If it stays steady, then I will add a different weather app onto it and uh, ditch this one because it's possible. You never know. These developers that make the app do have access uh, to your computer once you download any app. So... No telling how many enemies I may have out here. <laughs> you just never know. Uh, so I went ahead and removed it. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. So, uh, In the meantime, folks, stay safe out there. Um, it's just uh, you know, kind of looking like we're getting back to normal on the earthquake scale here. As far as the general location goes. But uh, we all know things can uh, change. And, and definitely... Uh, pick up dramatically so stay safe and we'll chat you guys a little bit later have a good night